Hello everyone, I'm Cody. And I'm Chantal. Welcome to Unit 1, Popsicle Heaven. One mother in the U.S. kind of faced a situation. <laughs> uh, Jennifer Bryant uh, and, and her son Noah, about four years old, he has um, a, you know, a kind of special needs that we would call autistic, and he gets often fixated on numbers and things. He loves these popsicles, specifically SpongeBob popsicles. Autistic. Autistic. Now for a box of 18, it costs $51. So that's a little expensive it's for a, little... a box of, yeah, <laughs> box of popsicles <laughs> or ICs, I would think as well. <laughs> um, but uh, he, one day he was just walking around, kept saying the number 51, 51, 51, and she thought maybe this is one of his fixations. Um, but, uh, you know, later she got a call from her sister, the boy's aunt, that what's with these uh, boxes at my house? Did you order something from Amazon? And it turned out that the boy had ordered 51 boxes uh. of these popsicles. So there's over like 900 something of these popsicles sitting at the aunt's house. Oh. Uh, which, you know, they've got to be put in the freezer. Oh. <laughs> so that was a disaster. Uh, but we'll get to more of the story later. <laughs> so how often do you eat popsicles? Well, I would obviously say I'm not fixated <laughs> <laughs> in the popsicles. Yeah. Uh, oh my goodness, maybe twice a week. Okay. Especially in the summer and mm. it's fruity, if it's fruity. Right. I do enjoy it. It is really refreshing. It's summertime. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But maybe, yeah, not more than twice a week. How okay. about you? Um, maybe once a week. Mm. I do buy the uh, those more, I, think, I would call them ICs. Like yeah. a frozen fruit. Yeah, uh, yeah. I love like chung podo or like sagwa, the apple flavor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and sometimes I like to buy extra, but like uh, eat them on the sly when my girlfriend's not looking. So, <laughs> you know, cause she doesn't want me eating ice cream a lot or these ices. On the sly. On the sly. And now the language focus for the first one should have was the past participle. So for my example, I should have saved more money in the past for future investments. The next step is wouldn't. For example, I asked and I asked, but the company wouldn't give me a raise. That's it for our language focus and our preview. We'll see you on the review section.